Ta-da! This is the first light fixture in the Voodoo Garden Room. It's about, I'd say, 10 foot by 10 foot. And the ceilings are not very high. I can touch the ceilings and I'm five, six and a half. So the ceilings aren't really that high, but then again, the plants are not that high. But I wanted to bring you down here because, oh, <laughs> because I want to sit down. <laughs> I needed a reason to sit down, so I figured, ah, oh, what the heck, turn on the camera and let's sit down. These are the light fixtures that I had in the previous Voodoo Garden room. Uh, all they are is a metal, uh, I don't even know what they call this. You know, I, I do a lot of electrical and plumbing, but I don't know the actual technical terms for the items. So when I'm shopping for stuff, I really don't much care for people offering help because when I, they ask me what I want, I say, oh, I need one of those metal things. And they look at me like I'm going to burn my house down. I know what I'm doing. I just don't know the technical terms because I'm not an electrician. Um, these are junction boxes and uh, the wiring goes into there and it hooks up to the actual socket. And then I screw the light bulb in there. This is live and it's, uh, what we had was an old fashioned uh, shop light in here. It was really crappy and the person who owned the house did not wire it up right. They had very thin wire, almost like speaker wire. Yeah, it was really a fire hazard and it was just taped up and it was awful. So I took it down, went back to the basic wiring, found the studs and uh, I wired it into my first light fixture and then these are all pre-wired. So when I took them off the, uh, the old, Voodoo Garden Room, I just had to take off two screws, the ones that actually mount them onto the ceiling. So they're all pre-wired and ready to go. Yeah, and I have 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Yeah, I have 12 of these. So what I'm gonna do is they're spaced approximately two feet apart. So every two feet, all I have to do is put in two screws on these little flanges and screw them right up to there and uh, I'm all set to go. That's how fast it's gonna be to set up this room. I was gonna do a demo on how to do it and I thought, well, how boring is that? You're just gonna see me up on this ladder putting in two screws and get him up on the ladder, two screws. I could think of better things to watch on the internet than uh, some crazy old man screwing up uh, light fixtures. But I wanted to show you this because this is step one in the Voodoo Garden Room. And I know a lot of you are trying to listen to me, but you can't help but look at this stupid color of this room. This used to be a kid's bedroom, apparently. This is in the basement. And uh, what I really like about having the Voodoo Garden in the basement is that it's going to be, uh, uh, on the main floor, I would have the problems with humidity and, and leveling the heat and stuff because in the summertime, it's gonna get hot here. So I have to keep it hotter. Uh, I have to cool the room more with all these lights going. But in the basement, it's naturally cool. So I don't have to worry as much about cooling the Voodoo Garden. And it has a door over here, it has a door over there. I can keep those doors shut and lock in the humidity. No heater vents whatsoever in here. I'm gonna bring in a little space heater and I'm gonna uh, keep the temperature just right. And that way we don't have any kind of forced air like a regular furnace coming in and uh, blowing all the humid air out. And that's gonna be really nice too. So I think I'm gonna be doing a lot better at growing tropicals and plants that are gonna need the humidity. That's a bonus. I just love this room. I could have had it upstairs in uh, the front uh, three season porch, but I, I decided not to. That's where the plants are right now because I really had nowhere to put them. Can't have them down here while I'm putting up lights because everybody's tripping on each other and nobody's happy. So I thought, well, keep them up there, put a couple of those light stands, you know, the ones that I use for uh, filming. That's why it's so dim right here because I don't have any tripods or anything. So uh, as soon as I get these up, I'm gonna drag the plants down and we're gonna have a fully functioning Voodoo Garden. So as a matter of fact, I'm gonna do that. Uh, go take a break, okay? Go have a cup of coffee, go play with the kids, or, or I don't know, go roll around in the grass. And uh, we'll come back in a few minutes and I'll show you what it looks like all set up, okay? All right, I gotta get to work. Talk to you in a bit. Okay, nice and solid, 12 lights, well, 12 light fixtures. Now we put in the bulbs and then I bring in the plants. Not so bad, this is actually going a lot faster than I thought. Now, here's what it looks like with both doors closed and no light coming in hardly at all, just up from underneath the doors. This is what it looks like. Now check it out when I turn on the switch. 12 bulbs, 
That's all it took, 12 bulbs. And uh, by the way, I'm not done. Uh, with this room, I gotta have the little plants in here, so I gotta have those a little bit closer to the lights. I have one of those long, uh, tables that the legs come down uh, like lunch tables yeah I have one of those and I think I'm going to put it over there against that wall and I'm going to put probably a couple more light bulbs mounted on the wall to get the lights concentrated for seedlings but otherwise this is what it's going to look like in here it's very bright very <laughs> trust me it's very bright you almost need sunglasses but the plants are going to absolutely love it and once I get a minute now I'm going to come through here and paint these walls a believable color because I really, you know, somebody took crayons to this and as cute as that may seem, that's not what I want for my girl. I want all white. Flat white will reflect the paint, per, uh, will reflect the light perfectly. You can tell I'm tired. I've had a really crazy week. So this is what the grow room looks like. Next step, let's get the plants in here and then we'll be done. I'll be right back. And this is what it looks like with plants. What do you think? I love it. I just love it. And uh, once the room is painted, it's going to be even brighter than before. You know, the nice thing about this is it's only a 10 foot by 10 foot room, but I can fit everything in here because it has the height for the tall plants. It has the table in here for the lower plants that want to uh, stay brighter. And uh, everything is getting the same amount of light as the other place. And I'm using 30 to 40% less light bulbs. Go figure. So I'm very, very happy. I'm very, very tired and very, very hungry because I've been working all day. So I got to go grab something to eat. And uh, so I wanted to say thank you everybody for joining me on this adventure and the adventure never stops. It just continues and it gets better and better because because I have a really, really cool episode next week and it involves the tomato plants, the pepper plants. You're going to want to see the changes in those, even with this rough trip all over the country, uh, well actually from one state to the next, they still came through with flying colors and you're going to like the changes in them. And also the scorpion and the jalokia are going on an adventure and you're going to have to join me here in the video garden to find out what that adventure is because it involves something very, very fun and something, um, oh, I'm not going to spill anything. I'm not going to spill anything. You got to tune in to see, okay? Because that's what the uh, voodoo garden's about. Everything's an adventure and all things are possible. That's what I like to say. And that's exactly what I believe. And I wanted to stop and thank you before I wrap this up. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. You've been here for so long from the first house where the voodoo garden barely got its start to the second place that I lived where the voodoo garden actually got its footing to the third place where the voodoo garden is going to go on to the next level. And that is going to be spectacular because there are so many things that I'm going to be doing here so many things that I can do here that I couldn't do at the other place and we're all gonna do this together and I'm gonna be branching off into some oh I need to shave into some new plants some new procedures some new fertilizers some new everything to keep the voodoo garden fresh and growing for you and for me and to keep these plants happy so until next time I got to get going everybody this is Ray at the voodoo garden I'm out of here thanks for joining me have a great day bye okay everybody take a bow no Okay, bye.